don't have any legitimate chewing tongs for you guys. Chewing tongs are a different uh, variety, so I'm using the anvil. And I'll only just having to steady this. I'm not really having to fight it. It's not like I'm doing this and pulling it back and trying to keep it from teeter tottering. You know, they kind of lived their life dawn to dusk in 1750. And uh, when it becomes a running part of your job that you have no alternative, what he started to realize year after year, work. So high in the fire, you guys ended your class before the one. So, <clears throat> so it's uh, coated all surfaces of thread all around it. We want to weld it. Stick these together. It'll be real easy. I'm going to line them up. They're stuck. All stuck together. A little bit of mystic smoke. Nice flat blows. We will be producing a lot of discharge because these layers in between here are so prominent. Kind of overlap with the hammer blows. To the anvil, I'm going to drop, drop the hammer down at a pretty significant angle. Do a short and steep and thin, tap it down. So what did I measure that? Tip it up. A little pre-taper. A lot of hammer angle, far edge. Bring it too well. Just set that down. Like that. They're going to chill quickly on the anvil. And make sure you scarf nicely past flux under your fire. Okay, so light toe work there, heavy blow, then graduate. If the scarfs were on the other side, I'd have to use the heel of the hammer to blow. flat spot in the middle on tap on one side of the flat spot. I've got air between my contact point and where I'm hitting it. Let me test you guys. Always want There's my pocket. Nice and straight. One, two, three. Get it right up. Take care of your punch. Cool it. Turn the piece. Come in. One, two, three. Get it right out the tip. Backside. Now watch the margin of the material. Ooh, did you see that? Instantly. Flip it over. Pop it through. Level it out. It's a little. Uh, on the diamond, we're consolidating that mass is, is, and work very, very equally on each side. 
we want to keep this tenon in the middle of the bar. Just cut these off, do it nice in the round, and then you've, you've got a, 